This is James Holder for Eye from London. I'm in Belfast today for the Celtic Clash. I've just bumped into two young boxers who are going to give me a little bit of a chat today. I've got uh, sons of the legendary Mr. Wilton. Matt Wilton, how are you, son? All right, mate. I'm too bad. Uh, Luke, how you doing all right? Good, thanks. Good. First and foremost, Celtic Clash. How do you think the bill's gone so far? It's been a good fight. That Daniel McShane there was a smashing fight. So. Great fight, wasn't it? Uh, some scrap. Your man came to give it all, so hopefully they uh, tap the bills just as good. Looking forward to the top bill, Reynolds versus Declan Trainer. Yeah, well, that there but hard to beat that fight there, Daniel McShane. So hopefully Trainer and Reynolds will live up to the, the expectation. What did you think of Paddy Gallagher today? Myself, I was very impressed with him. Very Talk sharp. me for that. Very sharp, he was. I fought Paddy Gallagher three times as an amateur, so. so you've got probably you know how sharp he actually is. <laughs> yeah, but he was very very sharp and I'm very impressed with him. Uh, Matt, what's going on with yourself at the moment? When can we anticipate seeing you out? I know your dad's got a show coming up next month. Are you, you going to be on that? Yeah, I'm fighting on the 12th of October, hopefully in a six-rounder. Six I just, uh, my last fight there was an eight-rounder. I fought for the British Inter British Masters title yeah. in the holiday in there against Eddie Achoko. That was a good scrap, so something back just to warm up again and then go for something big again. Luke, how about yourself? When can we anticipate yeah, seeing yourself? You're on the same show? Yeah, I'm on the, the 12th of October as well. and It's just went out the purse bids that me and Ian Butcher will be challenging for the British Eliminator. And the winner gets a, another crack at Satchel. Wicked. Satchel's beat us both. So. Some fighter, Satchel, isn't he? He's just great at range. He's, he's very, very neat, very tidy. Very, very good eye. He was over sparring for the Butcher fight as well with me. So I know what he's all about. Be good, be good another good scrap with me and Butcher and then. Hopefully the winner gets Satchel. Are you both trained by your dad? You train with your dad? No, we train out of his gym, but the two Chaka brothers and him train us. Yeah. So it must be tough having a dad as a coach and a, like with you because he's going to be on your case yeah, more than anyone. Isn't he? He's there to push you all the time, that's what it's all about. I was down there on Wednesday night in the gym and <laughs> he busted me. like. <laughs> so it was all good, but it's good. It's good of a mixture too, you know, so don't mind it. Talk to me about Irish boxing at the minute. Do you think with the emergence of, of the stars such as Frampton coming through, it's, it's going to put more of a spotlight on for the rest of you guys? Hopefully, this is the whole thing. You know, we can all get on the undercard. We'll all be doing well. Yeah. You know, we don't have we've nobody else like that in Ireland or Northern Ireland or River at the minute. So we need somebody big, and then we can all get on the bandwagon. I think it's really important that Irish fighters do get on these undercards for these 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 big shows, yeah. and you know that's that's what it's about, really, isn't it? That's it. Yeah. The Belfast is buzzing at the minute with Card Frampton. Like, like you see, down the stairs there, there was four or five hundred in here buzzing. You know, it's only a wee show. I mean, Unbelievable. You know what the Odyssey's going to be like come four or five weeks' time. You know, it shocked me how many groups of women there are here. Like, girls seem to love fighting in Ireland. There's, <laughs> what's going on? They're, just, they're, here, they're here and there's loads of them, you know what I mean? Uh, it's something wrong. <laughs> women want the fight. It's not right. <laughs> We've got the small matter tonight again of uh, Mayweather versus, in my opinion, the only true Irishman I've met, Canelo Alvarez, or yet to meet, rather, should I say. How do you see that one panning out? Uh, I don't know. It all depends if Canelo made the weight all right. It's what's playing on me, and if he has the gas to go the full 12 rounds. But if not, then it's Mayweather. He looked, he looked bomb, one five two. He looked comfortable. He wouldn't say he looked dry. He looked all right, didn't he? Mayweather looked a wee bit bigger than him at, at 150. <laughs> I think Mayweather will win maybe a late stoppage around one point. The fact that he's standing around eating cheeseburgers is going to fill you with confidence, doesn't it? <laughs> it makes you sick. <laughs> Things you go through to make weight. I heard a story once that Maver was drinking a can of Coke before his fight. Uh, next time, all the American amateurs were in training camp just standing around drinking <laughs> cans of Coke. Works on Mayweather, you know? In this camp, I've seen him drinking. Between rounds, he was drinking a bottle of Coke. Do you reckon his food colour is water? Or do you reckon it's water? Or is drinking his Coke? I think it's all put on. Has to be. You couldn't, you couldn't get away with doing that. If anyone could do it, it's going to be him, isn't it? That, well, that's true, isn't it? 15 straight world title defences and uh, fights in a row. Two world champions. Unbelievable. Different gravy. <laughs> well, listen, lads, I appreciate you boys giving me a bit of your time and it's great to get you boys on our film while we're here. We want to get as much as of, you, of you guys as we can, as many of you Irish boys as we can, so we're just in touch with the scene a little bit more, do you know what I mean? That's brilliant, thanks. Thanks. Thank you, mate. Is Make it, sure you come October then. <laughs> is there any last words, obviously, apart from getting me here for October, you want to say? Anyone you want to talk to? No, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to ask you there. Well, listen, this is James Holder with the Wilton Boys for I Film London. Thank you very much. <laughs>